Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. So in this lecture, uh, I will explain uh, results on the risky topology and its connections with commodity algebra. So I will do it first for the very special case and then we will do it uh, for more general case after that. So the setup is like this. So this lecture I want to explain what is a K spectrum. and the risky topology. All right, so where K is a field, K is a field. For example, one could take K equal to Q or real numbers or complex numbers or finite field. All right, and then we have seen the polynomial algebra in n variables, k x1 to xn. This is a k algebra. This is of finite type. over k. Okay, later on we will uh, drop this uh, assumption and we will uh, study for general commutative rings. But to give a better understanding, we have to do this case first. So, we have seen that the universal property of the polynomial algebra says that if I have any point A, A1 to An, this is a point in k power n. This k power n is also sometimes called a fine n space over k. The coordinates are in k. They, these are the tuples whose coordinates are in k. Therefore, it is called a fine n space over k. And to each point, we have a algebra homomorphism. Epsilon a this is a homomorphism of k algebras from k x1 to xn to k. Namely, if I have to give, this is a substitution homomorphism by a. So, xi's are mapped onto a's. So, this is a k algebra homomorphism. This is also called substitution homomorphism. Substitution. homomorphism. This is a K algebra homomorphism. So, any polynomial f in n variables f will go to f evaluated at a. <coughs> All right. So, this is therefore, this, this epsilon a is therefore an element in home k algebras from polynomial ring n, n variables to k. <coughs> what is the kernel of this? Kernel of this, it is very easy to check, kernel of this epsilon homomorphism is precisely, this I will uh, denote by m suffix a, this is the ideal generated by x1 minus a1, etc, etc, xn minus an. 
this is very easy to check that it is obvious that all these polynomials x1 minus a1 etc they are clearly contained in this kernel because x size goes to a so this polynomial go to zero uh, also on the other hand this ideal here is a maximal ideal in k x1 to xn uh, that can be easily checked by going modulo that so in fact if i take k x1 to xn and go modulo this ideal you get this is isomorphic to k as k algebras therefore it's a field therefore this is a maximal ideal so kernel cannot be because this epsilon a maps one to one this cannot be the whole ideal therefore it will be equality here that is how one proves this is a maximal ideal now therefore what we have done um, we have done the following we have defined so before that also i want to remind you that uh, if i write um, spm of k x1 to xn this is precisely set of all maximal ideals this is the set of all maximal ideals in in the polynomial ring this is a subset of spec of k x1 to xn spec is set of all prime ideals this is set of all prime ideals this is set of all maximal ideals and we know that every maximal ideal is prime ideal therefore this containment also cool theorem says that this is a non empty set anyway this is we can also prove it much easier than the cruel's theorem all right so uh, and this this ma this corresponding to a in k power n this ma is not only maximal ideal it is a special maximal ideal this is a maximal ideal with the property that when i go mod it i don't get arbitrary field but i get back the residue field is the given capital a this is a this is as k algebra k algebra is modulus so these are the special maximal ideal so that that said i am going to denote by k spectrum k spec of polynomial ring is by definition all those maximal ideals m in spec in the maximal ideal spm of k x1 to xn such that the residue field k x1 to xn mod m is isomorphic to k as k algebras so note that every maximal ideal doesn't belong to here just uh, one example i will write it so suppose you take k equal to r and only one variable case so rx in this this maximal ideal x square plus 1 this is a maximal ideal this is in spm rx but it is not when you go mod this x square plus 1 i don't get real numbers but this is isomorphic to complex numbers as r algebras so this shows that this maximal ideal x square plus 1 is not in the r spectrum <coughs> the reason being r is not algebraically close we as soon you will see it so we have therefore 
done the following we have keep our aim here we have defined home k algebras from polynomial ring in n variables to k and this k spec k spec of k x1 to x n so we have a map here namely any a that goes to the k algebra homomorphism epsilon a epsilon a is k algebra homomorphism which is a substitution homomorphism x i is to a is this is x i is going to a is and from here to here also we have a map so from here to here any epsilon any homomorphism epsilon that we are sending it to the kernel so any epsilon here is mapped on to kernel of epsilon and note that kernel of epsilon has a property that first of all it is a maximal ideal because it's a kernel this map is surjective is clear because it's a k algebra homomorphism and this is therefore an element in the residue the when you go mod the kernel you get the image so this modulo the kernel of epsilon is k therefore it is uh, by definition it is an element in the k spectrum and now i want to say that these are the identifications so these are bijective maps <coughs> so this is this is very important because of the following observation we already have made in the lectures so that i just want to recall the algebraic version of hilbert smooth standards which says that if you have so this was it if you have an algebra r is an algebra of finite type or an algebraically closed field then the k spectrum of r is precisely all maximal ideals so where let me just recall that when i say uh, what is the k spectrum for a finite type algebra that means this is by definition home k algebra from r to k this is by definition our k spectrum is and in case of polynomial algebra this we have identified with the points in the affine space and for arbitrary finite type k algebra this is just to think of this is a homomorphisms algebra homomorphism from r to k and so this was how uh, uh, it was not stated in this format because i didn't have a definition of k spectrum that time but what did we prove the content of this thing is every max so this is clearly contained here that is no big deal because by definition these are all maximal ideals whose residue fields are actually k so we have proved that hilbert nullson that say that if you have the base field to be algebraically closed then every maximal ideal is of the form ma so that was what it was proved in that format so 
This is precisely the Hilbert's rule cell inductance. So the K spectrum is the whole maximal spectrum. That is how it is said. All right. So I want to define now what is the Zariski topology on K power n. But before I do that, I want to also uh, consider the polynomial functions. But maybe I do this later. So I want to define now what is what is so called affine algebraic sets. And these affine algebraic sets will give us a topology. And that topology will be called a Zariski topology. All right. So what is an affine algebraic set? So this is also, uh, so I have a polynomial ring kx1 to xn. And I have some polynomials, set of polynomials f, j. They may be finite, may not be finitely many, j in j. These are elements of this. So I have lots of polynomials and now I want to define some subset of k power n. See ultimately I want to define a topology on k power n. So uh, v k of fj, this is, I want to define a subset of k power n. What is this by definition? This by definition, all the common zeros of all these polynomials in k power n. So that means all a in k power n such that fj at a is 0 for all j in j. Note that this is also same thing as intersection, they are common zeros. So intersection running over j in j, vk of fj. So this is the set of, I will write on the next page, the set of common zeros of Fj's in k power n. Now it might happen that this may be empty set. That is one of the biggest difficulty in in studying algebraic geometry. So therefore, one usually assumes we will not do that. But one usually assumes one needs to assume that k is algebraically closed. But we will not do this. So, k, for example, k equal to c. It was the it was done in the classical classically k equal to c. This was done by Hilbert. So anyway, we are not going to assume k is algebraically close, but we will allow this could become empty set. All right. So now, first of all, note that. So I just want to translate this in terms of the, the algebra homomorphism. So note that under this k power n, we have identified this with home, k algebras, k polynomial x1 to xn, comma k, and then this with, and then this with, k spectrum of k x1 to xn. So I just want to translate when will a given A will belong to, when will this A belong to V of fj? When will it be common 0 of this? So that will get translated into all these polynomials will vanish at a. So fj at a is 0 for all j in j. But this will mean that all these polynomials will be in the kernel of 
So this A is identifi identified with this substitution homomorphism. So this A is identified with this. So therefore this condition will become now epsilon A of Fj. All these polynomials are G, G, they will go to 0 under this algebra homomorphism. This is true for all J in J. <coughs> but that means this Fj's are in the kernel. So that is if and only if all the polynomial Fj's belong to kernel of epsilon A and that we know this is M suffix A and this is true for every J in J. So therefore to say that a point belong to this V, uh, I, sub, I, I want to keep track of V suffix K. There also I wrote. So this one is get translated a point belong. So in this case that means epsilon A at Fj is 0 or in the k spectrum case that is Fj belong to the, the maximal ideal Ma. So, now some before I go on, I want to make some couple of remarks. So, this that that means to a bunch of polynomials, to a subset, let me call it F, to a subset F, this subset Fj of some subset of the polynomials in several variables over k, we have defined a subset. Vk of f. This is a subset of k power n. So first of all note that these are very easy to check. Note that Vk of f is same thing as Vk of the ideal generated by f. So this is ideal generated by f. This is ideal generated by the set F in k x1 to xn. Because if all, all this is the set of all polynomials, uh, all points which all the polynomials in F vanishes, but these are all polynomial linear combinations of F. So if all polynomial vanishes, then the polynomial linear combination will also vanish. So this is really easy. And the second equality is actually Vk of the ideal, not only the ideal, the radical of that ideal. That is also equal because uh, you know the, uh, the polynomial belong to the radical if the power belongs to the ideal. So if the power vanishes because the images are in, we are taking the images in the field K, so if the power vanishes then the original polynomial also vanishes. So therefore these equalities. So we could have we could have defined so this VK is really you can think of VK the map think VK the map from the set of ideals I of K X1 to Xn to where to the power set of k power n. So any ideal a we are mapping onto the vk of a. vk of a is by definition all those points in k power n such that all polynomials in a vanish there. So this is, so I will write on the next page. So vk of a is by definition all those points A in k power n such that f of A equal to 0 for all f in the ideal f. So this is same thing as intersection f in A such that vk of f is, so it is this, this is clear. So, we have defined a map from the ideals in this ring to the power set of this. 
and now you would like to check when is it bijective or what is the possible inverse for this or such things. So, and study the properties of this uh, these sets and I will list some properties which are mostly easy to check. So, for example, so uh, let me write in the form of proposition. So, before I write that, note that A is uh, ideal in the polynomial ring and we know the polynomial ring over a field infinitely many variables is a Noetherian ring. This ring is Noetherian. Therefore, every ideal is finitely generated. So, therefore, this ideal is really finitely generated. It is generated by f1 to fr. Therefore, this is this was precisely proved by Hilbert and it is known as Hilbert basis theorem. Therefore, Vk of when you want to study this set Vk of A, it is enough to study Vk of these generators. This is finitely many. So, this is a common zero set of finitely many polynomials. So, this is also called a fine k algebraic set. Defined by f1 to fr. This is a subset of k power n. All right. Now, uh, before, uh, so I want to state the proposition. So, proposition which proof I will leave it to check because once it is stated precisely, it is very easy to check. So, all our notation as it is. Okay. So, um, the first one is if I take Vk of the single polynomial 1, that means the 0 set of the polynomial constant polynomial 1, this is obviously empty set. And if I take Vk of the 0 polynomial, this is obviously the whole k power n because 0 polynomial vanish at every point and 1 polynomial 1 vanish only at 1. Okay, so, this is 2. If I take the union v k of union of the subsets f i's arbitrary union that is same thing as intersection i in i v k of f i because this is what this is all those points in k power n where all the polynomials in all f i are 0. That means, they are all common. So, therefore, the union will become intersection. Third one, if I take two polynomials v k of f times g, f and g capital F and capital G are two polynomials. This is same thing as V k f union V k g because if a product vanishes at some point then either f vanishes or g vanishes. So, this will become intersection uh, union. <coughs> so, you can more generally state this for ideals. So, what will be the corresponding things for the ideals? I will write in the blue color. So, this one for the ideals. So, V k of the sum ideal where A i is the arbitrary ideals family of arbitrary ideals index by i. This is same thing as intersection i in i V k of A i's because this means all, all polynomial vanish and therefore, this. And the third one will become, third one for ideals will become v k of the product ideal. 
if i have two ideals a and b the vk of the product ideal is same as vk of the intersection ideal is also same thing as union of this two ideals vk union vk b now it is clear that uh, this so therefore so corollary is the collection vk of ideal a where a varies in the ideal of the polynomial ring this collection this is a subset of the power set of k power n this collection form closed sets closed sets of a topology on k power n and that topology is called the zariski topology on k power n so just one minute i will check how uh, what do you have to check you have to check that if you want to check that some collection form a closed subset of a topology we have to check that empty set is there whole space is there and it's closed under uh, uh, arbitrary intersection and also it is closed under finite union so now you see here this precisely this what i have checked this is one is empty set is there two is uh, this uh, second part is k power n is there so empty set is there whole space is there and then the intersection is there and then the union is there therefore it forms a topology this topology is called as zariski topology and uh, next uh, time we will generalize this to arbitrary ring and there we will have difficulties but we will have to overcome that difficulties by enlarging the set k power n so that we will do it in the next half